That's very good. This will help things with the required rate. And it goes for a maximum, a Sky X1. They've been swinging lustily without making great connection quite often. Certainly, Robin Powell has. Amir Django has switched on the gears. Now, what is happening here is you could see Ford trying to bowl wide above stump. Django anticipated it. Leg side option chosen, inside edge. Four more. 12 already in the over with three deliveries remaining. Again, Django across his stumps because he anticipates where the line is coming. Ford could probably think about coming round the wicket too. He's a young bowler, learning his trade. But his definite plan to try to get them to hit offside, but Django's coming across his stumps quite early. That's hammered straight back past the bowler. Cougar line trying to stop it with that uh, right leg. And again, goes for four. Courageous dive from the captain, Mark Dial. And it's another four. Stop. Too short and hammered. Hammered leg side. Real revelation here. Amir Django just uh, backing up his half century in the last game. Another Sky X maximum. Asking rate is down to 10.8. Ruffman Paul could only watch from the other end because Amir Django is on fire. That's another Sky X maximum. It's been an amazing knock, to be honest, a truly amazing knock. For the first five overs, he was just pottering around, didn't face many deliveries, but he was in cruise control. And in these last 3.1 overs, he's accelerated brilliantly, hitting that slower ball. Bold him, went straight and fast. Amir Django was aiming leg side, the shimmy across the stumps didn't work. And that might just change the momentum of this innings. Briefer discussing the line that was anticipated as well. I think Django thought he was going to go full and wide, so did I, he gone straight. And again, you've got to keep your peripheral vision on the batsman's feet. Django goes for 44, 91 for two.